Thank you, everyone, for hanging in there, or however many that is. Uh, we're going to get started, so let me get over to our page here. I'll add Thank you, everyone, in. for hanging in hmm. that is. Uh, we're going to get started, so let okay. me get So apparently I have that... Uh, I'm going to try to fix my audio issues real quick, because apparently there's a nice, lovely hissing going on in the background, and I, I can't hear it unless I'm listening to the stream. Um, do you guys hear it on your end? Yeah, I'm yeah, hearing it's like, some noise, but it's, it's mm. not. I'm going to test something. Okay, let's see what happens now. Thanks all for bearing with me through technical difficulties. Waiting for the stream delay so I can test it on myself. Hmm. Does not appear to be helping. Oh well, I guess we're gonna live with it because our choices are to live with it or nothing. So, I mean, like I said, it doesn't bother me none. Does not appear mm -hmm. to Oh well, I guess we're gonna live with it because our choices are to live with it or <coughs> nothing. So, I mean, like I said, it doesn't bother me none. Does not appear mm -hmm. to be Oh well, I guess we're gonna live with it because our choices are to live with it or <coughs> nothing. So. I mean, like I said, it doesn't bother me none. Does not appear mm -hmm. to oh well, I guess we're gonna live with it because our choices are to live with it or <coughs> nothing. So. But we'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Well, everybody, uh, we're ready to play some uh, Shadows of Seattle. Um, we are missing one um, one of our lovely players. Uh, but that's okay, because we can survive. Um, can't survive. Woo -woo. Uh, don't worry, really guys. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, so when we last left our intrepid crew of, that's not how you zoom in, that's how you zoom out, okay, got it, perfect, um, they had found a, a rogue practitioner in a warehouse who had summoned something, some kind of tentacled horror, and uh, Jane, our up-and-coming uh, shapeshifter, uh, Rook, our luckless uh, uh, assassin, or would-be assassin, mm -hmm. and uh, Hope, who is a knight of winter, uh, all of them, actually I have a, a page here for this, oh look at that, what do you know, 
Um, let's see if it's still reverted. Oh, damn it, I should have tested all my overlays. It's cool, guys. Um, Kelly is not with us today, um, but that's okay. He's, uh, uh, he's here in spirit, and I will, I'll be playing his character as necessary. Um, you guys have managed to break into the office. Uh, Jane transformed into a mouse and took a look around where we found out that this guy is some kind of weird jock wizard uh, who is very enthusiastically listening to a uh, football game on his radio in a, mm. uh, a very sparse Spartan office that had like a cot and a table and like a, a small cooking uh, pad and a lot of fast food wrappers just tossed into a corner where he'd kind of given up on trying to have a garbage bag um, and he's sitting in a, a chair with his feet propped up um, and Jane ran back out to uh, tell everybody about that and get everybody on board uh, she and Kelly are in the rafters up above the summoning circle and uh uh, Rook and Hope had just come in through the front door. If we go back to this page here, we can see all of that. Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I'll be uh, helping out by, by being Kelly for you guys. Um, I, I'm not going to come up with any amazing plans. That's literally his job. You guys got to See if you can do it on your own. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you already don't sound like Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was me, Kelsa, as a GM. <laughs> not, uh, not in character as Kelly yet. So, <laughs> so um, Jane. Uh, you told uh, you told Kelly what you saw inside the uh, little room up there. Um, now that you're in the rafters, and and he nods and is like, "Yeah, I think we can take him out." Okay. So I could. Uh, mm, yeah, we could we could totally do this. There was. Um, so uh, yes, uh, I I can. Uh, I can do things that are good. What's Rook doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What is all right? What what is Rook doing down there? Uh, <laughs> where is the office relative? I mean, was this like on a second floor kind of thing, or no? Is it's it, like it's just like um like a regular ground floor yeah. warehouse office. It's like a regular ground floor warehouse office. The warehouse is pretty empty. Um, I mean, there's like some boxes that are like smashed up and like some broken pallets and some debris and like, I don't know, maybe some other mice uh, running around. But for the most part, it's pretty empty except over where you've got the um, uh, summoning circle where a space has been cleared out and a circle has been drawn out on the ground. Um so okay. it's it's like just like um walls uh and like that fake put pop in ceiling um just put up against a, a door in the uh, okay. in the middle of the warehouse for no apparent reason. Uh I, I whisper over to Hope, uh should we do something about that? And I'm pointing at the summoning circle. I, I don't know what that is. That doesn't look good. Uh, Susan, do I know what it is? Besides the obvious... The summoning circle? Um, I mean, if you want to roll a lore to know how much of it you know about it, yeah, you can definitely do that. Sure. Let's I'll try and do that. Let's see how your lore is. You've got uh, my lore, lore. I don't have lore, so I'm going to roll a mediocre. <laughs> yep. So on your yeah, perfect. Sheet, that's the one that's the four minus 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 button. Uh, let's see what is, hope, is Hope the um, purple squiggle? Yes, I'm the squiggle. Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, where is she? That's that's an H, I promise. Okay. <laughs> this is an H for hope. 
This okay. is R for Rook. This is a, Got it. A J for Jane and a K for Kelly. Okay. And an <laughs> S for some guy. Uh, Got it. Two. Uh, yeah, it looks like a summoning circle. It looks like a, uh, the kind of circle that would be used to to um, summon things. I'm specifically looking for like, can, would I know how to just, would I know if I just scratched it that it would stop being, well, working? Is it the kind of thing that if I just scratch the surface and break the lines, I'll be fine? Um, you're not would sure. Not? Okay. Ah, you're not sure. It could Does be. Does I know? Uh, I don't think you know enough to know whether it would work or not, and or any of the consequences thereof. But it is an idea. I think that yeah. might be a thing. I think Hope just kind of like looks at it, and you can see like a bit of just just a bit of sweat on her forehead. She was like, "I actually haven't read a lot about those things." Do you think if we just scratch the lines and just... Do you think that would work? I, your guess is, is way better than mine. Um, well, what is it, first off? A summoning circle. Summoning? Summon what? That's Have you forgotten why we're here? <laughs> 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 she kind of just, like, raises an eyebrow and goes, like, you know that thing... That you came running from out of that alley and you almost puked on me? That. To be honest, I don't remember a whole lot of that. <laughs> I think that's better. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's to summon something really bad, I assume. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, how about I, I try and damage that thing in some way, mark it or try and wash it off? I'll see if I can find like a mop. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you a thumbs up <laughs> okay yeah so um one of the things you can do in this system rook is oh i think we forgot to do this is at the beginning of every session you want to make sure that you refresh your um uh, fate points if you have them already so you should have either the minimum number of your adjusted refresh or uh if you have more than that left over from last time but one of the yeah. things you can do as part of a fate system is you can uh, spend a fate point to declare, I look over in the corner and there is a mop. Uh, okay. Well, I've never used a fate point before, I don't believe. So, yes, I, I look over towards uh, maybe like a closet and I see a mop in one of those yellow rolling buckets filled with dirty water. Perfect. Convenient. So yeah, take your do I, point down from three to two. Do I manually do that? Yes. Yes. I do. Yes, you do. There you go. Okay. And Jane, I boosted yours up. It was at zero. I put it back to one for you. Cool. Cool. So now you have a mop, and what, and you're gonna you're gonna try to go clean up that uh, summoning circle. With yeah, I'm gonna very water. very. Like try and try and wash away a little enough of the circle to disrupt him if he were to try and summon anything else. Okay. Fantastic. So um yeah, that's fairly easy. I don't think you need to, to roll for that. So uh right. move you, move you over Volk there. scrub. Okay. This have to be the guy doesn't know we're here yet, right? No. Yeah, I don't think so. He does not okay. know you're here yet. So while I'm doing that, you see if you can get back with Jane and Kelly and, I don't know, do something. <laughs> I, I, will, I will fly down to Hope. I was about to say, I can't fly. Up. As a bird. Yeah, as <laughs> a bird. And uh, right before I land, just kind of like, uh, as I like touch the ground, just come back into um, Jane. Uh yeah, like Jane just standing there. So you see like a girl sitting there. So you're like, what is he doing? Did I see you as a girl, Lisa? 
no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I was about to say, I don't think. Were you a girl? <laughs> Even I'm confused. No. Before, no. You were, before you were X. <laughs> it's still a new personality. <laughs> I think, like, Hope just stares at you for a while. Um. Oh. Yeah. I mean, switches over to X. What is he doing? <laughs> 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 she kind of does one of those just shakes her head really fast looks at him and goes like um he's um, uh he's trying to stop he's trying to make sure the summoning circle doesn't work I think you can do that just like that I really hope that evil bad guys are easily foiled by mops <laughs> Jane, do you it's not the you? mop <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Um, no. You, you don't want to listen or something to hear, hear that. <laughs> do, you, do you have any I don't have. I, don't have uh, I have alertness. Can I roll alertness? Uh, I mean, you can roll alertness to make sure that nobody is listening in on this. Um, I, oh, I figured, the summoning circles like on the other side of the the warehouse. I imagine that. I don't know if I'd be able to hear them talking smack about my mom. <laughs> Try to to roll alertness to to hear what they're saying. If you, I mean, I guess, I, are you guys trying to make sure that he can't hear you? We're just trying to make sure well, that the guy in the office can't hear us. Yeah, I was about to say we're trying to be quiet that's for that's who actually matters. <laughs> I mean, there's a closed door, and eh, it wouldn't be very hard. But I, I mean, if you if you really mess it up, it it uh, I think you only need to get uh, a fair. To be able to hear this, so you need a two or better on alertness. Two is yeah. what has been. Good job, you hear it. All right, I shoot him a dirty look. <laughs> That's you all get I a thumbs up. <laughs> you get, uh, Jane X just kind of shrugs. Sorry. <laughs> I tried flying over that thing, and it made me feel weird. It's true, it did. Yeah, um, I think there's something wrong here in general. So what's the plan? Do we just get in there? What is Kelly planning on doing? Um, like, she like look, look, <laughs> looks up Kelly. He's not like, where he's not where you last saw him. He's somewhere else now. Uh, where is he? I have no idea. Well, do but, your bird thing. Go find him. Yeah, I mean, he's not he's not stopping Rook, so maybe maybe we can defeat evil with Lysol and cleanliness. This that, would be that, great. I don't think that's going to stop. That, that water is not got Lysol in it. It's not clean. It's like rubbing dirty water that's like got like mosquito larvae in it. It's oh. super gross. Well, okay. I'm trying really hard to be optimistic here. <laughs> well, hope is. I'm not. Um. <laughs> so hope is right there with you. <laughs> so yeah, okay. you guys are uh, trying to clean up the uh, the summoning circle. Oh, Rick is, uh, or sorry, uh, well Kelly is off doing something else. And um. uh, Rook, as you um, as you finish like wipe like scrubbing one area and finally. Uh, a line breaks. Um, you can tell something happened. You're not like super attuned to <coughs> magic or whatever, but as soon as the um, as soon as this final um, this final little bit uh, washes away, and now there is a, definitely a break in the circle. You def you, you feel something. You feel something that has has happened, and I think your um uh yeah your uh your paranoid probably uh stunt is gonna come into play. I need you to roll alertness uh, plus two. Oh, boom. Okay, alertness plus two. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that's, oh, that's 
good. Um, let me see what this guy does. How oh, oh God. Is this? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I forgot to warn him that bad stuff might happen if you break the lines. <laughs> well, you didn't know that. Um, <laughs> oh. That's true. So that, was, that was good enough. But as you as you um, as you break it, a uh, weird tentacled thing springs into existence. Mm. Oh no! In the inner circle. Yeah, the parent looks like an ah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Those are tentacles. I promise. Uh, don't my <laughs> drawing skills, guys. <laughs> Never. Okay, uh, I'm going to change, um, in to, does it have to exist in a world? Um, this world? Well, no, because of the way we built your powers, it does not. Okay, uh, so we'll turn into, like, a gorilla with claws, big teeth, and wings. <laughs> And just start charging Rook uh, to, to huh? grab him out of there. <laughs> you will not be able to fly. You will not be able to fly as, as that thing. But Oddish doesn't know that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, so make a. Um... <clears throat> We're all still health. Why this happens? So. <laughs> Did he break I'm both? just hoping, like, yeah, Rook won't huh? scream. Did he break both the circle lines or just the outer one? It was both of them. But like, oh, okay. It was like one final sweep against the whole thing. It just went in a big line and it just... It was like a crackle of power and the, the tentacle monster jumped into a being. And Rook, you can you can jump back a little bit. Uh, but yeah. he's on the other side of the warehouse from you guys. Um, so he's technically in a, a different zone. Um, okay. And you can hear, like, around the same time, there's some kind of commotion going on inside of the office. Screw that. I'll turn into a centaur <laughs> and just run to grab Brooke and throw him on my back. <laughs> um, wow. I hope you have skills in ride. <laughs> I have. <laughs> you could tape shift, like, a steering column or something. <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna take you a moment. Uh, Rook, you've got uh, you've got a second actually, since you're the, the first one to react to this. You rolled really fairly, you know, you rolled uh, uh, great on your um, your reaction here. Um, All right. So you've got an action. Uh, you can move out of the way, or you can try to attack it from where you stand. Oh God, no! Uh, I would absolutely. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I, I like fell backwards on my back, and I'm just trying to like half crab walk, shuffle backwards. So, uh, is that the garage door into my left? Uh, yes, but it was door. it was locked. Remember, there was some right. locks on the outside. You did not remove those. Right, right, right. I was just wondering if that was like a, a wall I could co take cover behind, or if that was just actually a rolling door. It's the it's the rolling door. Okay. In that case, uh, I'm gonna. How far back could I move? I'd like to, if possible, go you can behind make, the office. You can make it into the the, the next zone over, and then uh, de declare what you're doing is is hiding around this wall. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So yeah. Uh, you're, ahead, by the time you can now. turn into a centaur, Rook has already made it scrambled around the other corner of the office. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, now you're a centaur. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll still uh, kind of, well, just grab Hope then and like hop on. <laughs> like just ready to, to battle. Hope kind of does one of those things of like, I think I can do more on the floor <laughs> when I can actually move. All right. But she, okay. just like, so she stays near you. Okay. But just like struggles because she she really doesn't want to get on top of you. <laughs> also, like go and grab Brooke, and being like, just hang on and get ready to shoot things, but don't kill me, don't shoot me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brooke, are, you, are you gonna let? Are you gonna? Are you gonna get on? Uh, get on the centaur of what I guess. 
Warriors. It still, yeah, it still looks like X, just with like absolutely a not horse, horse body. <laughs> I'm We're not both here. like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, not it, not it. Okay. Um, Would I know anything about if I shoot at it, it will work? No I'm guessing because I roll very poorly anyway in lore. I know nothing. Yeah, you pretty much know. Uh, is there any Can movement? I, what is it doing? Can I see what it's doing? Like, is it look? Does it look aggressive? Uh, yeah, it looks kind of angry. Oh I'm guessing as shooting at it as, isn't as going to make it any as happier. As a mass of tentacles can look. I mean, you know. Uh, I think she's just going to like. I'm trying to think like, what do I do here? Do I yell to the others, "Get out"? <laughs> and we run through the door, kind of send our fit through a door. Anyway, I, I'll, or, I'll, if or once do you guys I just are, shoot at it. <laughs> yeah, you guys refuse to get out. I was gonna take you around, so I'll just go gorilla I, mode, I guess. I'm and then <laughs> I think like Hope just turns, just like looks towards Rook, is like, do I shoot it? Uh, I would. Uh, uh, let's see if our the the brocerer over here could do something about it. I think he might be coming out. Uh huh. And she kind of has her gun like pointed up, but she's like, since she's near the door, mm -hmm. she's kind of doing one of those things to like make sure it's still open. She has like one hand on the door. Didn't you uh, freeze the lock? Like you, we shattered that lock. Yeah, yes, but I like I uh, semi close it so that not a lot of noise would come out, basically. Yeah. But like it's still open. The lock's busted. It's not closed anyway. But okay. she basically has one hand on the door to make sure she can just swing it open and like exit. Mm -hmm. If so, all hell breaks loose, she's kind of like just staying there. I think. If we if now. we do end up fleeing, I will jump on Jane's back. <laughs> 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 But not That's why I asked, can a centaur fit through. through a door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean... That's... You can always roll the warehouse. Does, uh, does the guy here... Have we managed to, like, whisper, not scream enough that the guy is still involved in the game? Uh, there's something going inside, on inside that room that is... Yeah. And <clears throat> noises and so on. Here, uh, the, maybe that's where Kelly is. Mm, okay. Um, I'll, I'll turn into a gorilla then, and then like see if I can peek around. Is there a window? Is there a window? No window to the office. No, not into the office. There's like a small, dirty window. Um, that is like covered over with with yellowed paper um, in the door, but that's it. <clears throat> okay, I'll just kind of like turn into a gorilla and like put myself in in front of Rook, and then like listen to see if anyone's coming toward the door or if there sounds of fighting. Like try and interpret what sounds because I don't want to leave Kelly alone in there if he's alone in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is would. I'm trying to see, like, would Eddie know anything about this kind of monster? About what it's weak to? Um, maybe. Do you want to try calling him on the phone? <laughs> I think, like, that is what Hope does. She's you know. kind of, like, just staring at it with a pistol in her hand. And she kind of just, like, takes her phone out and tries to call. Does it work? Because I know gadgets and magic don't go to together, so... Uh, that's true. You're not terribly near where the, the magic is happening. So, there, mm -hmm. um... I, I think it's gonna be fine, because you yourself are not, like, a, a practitioner. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it goes <coughs> through to, to his, um... Uh... I can video call him, right? No, no not really. He doesn't have no, a no, smartphone. No. He has like a you landline know in his <laughs> with like a rotary phone in his <laughs> perfect uh, in his um in his shop. Um, okay. 
so yeah uh eddie is your <clears throat> your all, all, everybody you know is like your extended family um <laughs> pretty much uh, he's like a, a grandpa to me yeah he's lovely. He, he owns the little curiosity shop and he's uh, a former white council r wizard that is trying to uh trying to retire but it's it's a little bit hard so um yeah i mean you can you can try giving him a call if you want to roll contacts and see what he knows okay <clears throat> yeah. let's see uh contacts contacts it's always the one underneath right yeah yeah it's always the one underneath okay did this no bonuses submit i go okay sure. yeah um he answers on the on the first try and he's like oh hope uh, it's uh, good to good to hear from you um eddie i have a giant tentacle thing in front of me on top of a very semi-broken summoning circle it looks angry do you know what i can do to hurt it Oh my goodness. I don't think a gun will work. <laughs> um, a gun might work, but uh, uh, probably magic would be better. It has a, a little bit of a, um, a uh, protection against uh, physical damage, but less so against uh, uh, magical damage. But uh, if, if it's what I think it is, at least, uh, from what you're describing... Uh, I mean, it would be helpful if you knew someone who was faithful. They, those kind of, of outsiders are uh, weak against uh, ho holy items and uh, people of true faith. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't go to church anytime soon, so... Um, it's okay, I guess I'll try to do something. Be, um, be careful. And uh, I'll try. <laughs> you you take care now. And she kind of like just just hangs up, okay. slides the phone back in her pocket. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well. What did so he say? I think she's gonna shout at. Well, semi shout. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually I can walk there. Can I walk there? Towards Jane and Rook. Mm -hmm. And I think she's just gonna tell them like. Do any of you have holy stuff on you? Um, <laughs> Gorilla Jane. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no. well, from what I heard, bullets might not do a lot. Magic might do a little bit better. Uh, any of you know magic? Would it be too much to pull a dogma? And use a fate point to say that my bullets have been blessed by a priest. Um, you, uh, you are good friends with a, a paladin of a uh, mod. It's possible you could have gotten her to uh, bless your bullets. Sure, I'll let you see. <laughs> you bless my bullets. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> bless my bullets. Bless my bullets. Uh, Perfect. So, I don't have to roll for that, right? I can just, no, or do you, I need, like, to... No, you don't need to roll for that. You just, uh, you're just like, did you know that I got these bullets blessed? It's pretty great. <clears throat> I know, kind of a nerdy thing, but, you know, I used to shoot competitively, so I got my gun blessed by a holy person. It's kind of ironic. <laughs> she has, like, a huge Not grin you. on her face. Just shoot it! Go there and shoot her. You know, I don't she have kind to of go like shoves to you towards it. <laughs> what? It's a gun. I don't have to go there to shoot. I can shoot it from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Just, just, just shoot it. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, I reduced my fate points down to one, and I will be. I'm gonna take a couple pot shots at Wiggly Tentacles. All right. Oh, Wiggly. Oh my god, I hope Eddie was right. Oh, wiggly. <laughs> that's, that's, Is that it doing that thing oh. when it's do it's dancing with its arms? <laughs> Get ready to take care of the, <laughs> I was about to say. Get ready to take care of the guy in the office in case it becomes a problem. Okay. Yeah, I hope not. And like 
can I actually just like look into the office? Like, the, the, uh, you said there were no windows. Is there no window on the door? There is like a small window on the door, but the it's public school it's window. Not very, yeah, it's it's like covered over for the most part and very dirty. You can't really. You can see well... that there's shapes inside, and they appear to be like like struggling. Um... So, I guess like. Hopes thought would be that Kelly is fighting him because Kelly wasn't where they were last time. But I don't know. You do not know. That is correct. <laughs> nope. I'm staying here and just keeping an eye on the <laughs> Hope would not just burst in there. Now, you Hope, you know how to do magic. You <clears throat> could probably magic this thing. Yeah, I was about to say, I think she just tried to, like, uh... can I ice spike it? Just, um, I'm, I'm gonna pull yeah. a Skyrim and just throw a, a spike of ice while he shoots at it. Okay, uh, I think him shooting at it is gonna be, uh, is gonna be first. Uh, mm -hmm. so if you want to, uh, roll your guns, uh, Rook. Ooh. And... Yeah, I can get on <laughs> And... Four. Ooh. Um, as a as a bad guy, I've got um, I'm gonna be resisting your guns with my agility, and I'll roll that off somebody's character sheet here. Where is that's not character sheets. It's gonna default to. Also a four, so uh, you can spend. Uh, do you have any fate points left, Rook? I have one fate point left. I don't know if I want to use it right now. Okay, well you don't. You don't have to. Um, if you do, you get to deal. Um, you, you would get to deal damage. If you don't, you're not. It's gonna basically the you'll hit, but it doesn't really do any perceptible damage. Mm, okay. And you just said I, I can't have less than zero, right? Zero is the absolute least amount of fate points I can have at the okay, end of the day. Okay, so yeah, you, you can have zero fate points at the end of the day, and I can do stuff to give them back to you. Um, okay. But right now, um, yeah, right now, it's, uh, it might help, <coughs> might not. Um, Oh, shit. Let's do it. Burn that last fate point. Beautiful. Okay. Blink. All right, so that's going to that's going to deal damage to it based on your uh, on your roll. So it's it's taking some physical damage. You can see like shadow stuff just go and the uh, it appears to be angrier. Um, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> um, I, I whisper that to myself. <laughs> so, next, uh, so next is um, just, stuff. sad news. Okay, um, it is. What what is your um. what it is um no speed's not a stat Jeez. uh ba -ba -ba -ba. okay well next is gonna be um uh oh, what this was next <laughs> Uh, what do I 
roll again? Uh, depends. I mean, so what you're doing right now is you're going to try to cast a spell, right? Yes. Now, I'm trying to figure out what would be the best thing here. Like, uh, he said it was susceptible to more, maybe to more to magic. So I'm trying to figure out, like, the type of magic that I do, it, from what I read in the book, I can literally do anything that is related to basically winter. Could I make it fall asleep? Uh, potentially, but you're not entirely sure if tentacled horrors sleep. Sleep, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'd say, it doesn't actually sleep. Uh, could I try and freeze its body? Yeah, Maybe. definitely. At least to slow it down. Yeah. Okay. I think that might be better because I think the bullets will do most of the damage if they hit. Or, or something. Um, so, what do I roll for that again? The magic thing. Okay. Uh, so, when you're casting a spell, the first thing you do is. This is the wrong kind of magic. Okay, spell. So, uh, this is not a rote spell, so you're going to be casting it on on the fly. Uh, so, de determine the desired effect. So, you're trying to freeze it in place, right? Mm. And so, um, and you don't have any lore. Nope. Uh, so the complexity of trying to put it to sleep. Well, I'm not doing the sleeping thing. I'm just trying to make it like, f I guess, slow it down is more what I'm trying to do. Okay, you want to make it slower because you know. Because this thing looks angry, and I don't want it to just charge at us. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make it slow down, basically. Okay, That's so what I'm trying you to do. Slow it down with your with your ice. So that's why I was specifically saying, like, the body. If I could just freeze it or, like, make it less mobile, I guess. So I can move as much or as fast. Okay. So it's slightly more difficult to do a maneuver to put it to slow it down. It's going to take mm -hmm. three shifts to be able to do that. Uh, alternatively, you can just attack it and just try to do a bunch of damage. Um... Uh, three shifts, you mean, like... Three turns. You need to get a three or better. On. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna attack it then. If it's too complicated, I'll just attack it. Just I spike it. Okay. Well, I mean, attacking it is gonna do some damage, but you're gonna need to do more and more damage. Slowing it down will be doing more damage to it next time. Uh, and also for Rook and for Jane, easier. So that's why it's a little bit harder. So. Mm. Now, there's one thing that I'm uh, that I remember from last time. You said that like stress was a thing that I have to worry about, yes. and I already have two of the check boxes Correct. selected. So your stress is at so you can you can take three, uh, so you can cast a spell that's going to cost you up to three stress or four stress, and still not pass out. But if you cast another spell, it's gonna um, it's going to stress you to the point where you're going to pass out. So essentially, this is my last spell. Pretty much, yes. So I'm I going to try and slow it down. Because <laughs> then, like, I think that would be better then. Okay, I'm, I'll just do that. Okay. Slow it down so they can do damage to it. Okay. Okay, uh, so your conviction is four. So mm -hmm. you can spend... Um, uh, let's see here. So you can make the power of your spell up to seven or eight, because um, your your con uh, oh no, sorry, up to six or seven. So your conviction is four. So casting a spell with a power of up to four is going to cost you one stress. Uh, at five will cost you two. At six it'll cost you three. But you're going to have to take uh, it on the three stress box either way. So casting a more powerful spell is probably better. But, Second, but yeah. you have to make a discipline roll for actually casting the spell. 
when your discipline is worse than your conviction, so you may want to not do that. Uh... But you can always invoke your, um, you can always invoke on your aspects as you're adding into the, the, to the role. Mm -hmm. and Could I make it then for the two stress and make it, and then invoke while doing that? Is, can I do that? So, yeah, I mean, you can, you can invoke after you roll it. So you, you have how many, three fate points left. So you could get a, uh, invoking your aspects of, um, kill is not something I was meant to do, um, because you're trying to slow it down, not hurt it. Um, and your aspect of a loyal knight of winter, because you're using winter magic. Um, and depending on uh, how much you like uh, Rook and Jane, potentially family isn't just blood. Um, mm. The fact that you're doing this as a favor to Eddie could also pull in on that. Yeah. But, uh, each one of those that you tap will give you a plus two, so you can have at least a plus six in addition to your roll. So making it a power seven and knowing that you can tap tap into those as long as you roll at least a one total on uh, with a plus three, it's pretty good odds. Um, then you can still successfully cast the spell. I'm gonna try it then. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take two stress, right? Like two boxes. Straight away, or uh, how many? So so you take one box. Because mm -hmm. you have, so you'd be taking two stress, but the spot for two stress is already filled in, so you take the three stress box instead. Oh. And so you're making this a, a six power spell, because it's two above your conviction of four, right? Oh, okay. Right? So I'm rolling, I think so, yeah, and then I'm rolling conviction. No, then you roll discipline. I know spells are complicated. <sighs> yes. <laughs> It's fine. So, I'll roll discipline. So you roll discipline, and then you're, mm -hmm. you're hoping you want to get a six or better. Uh, and then if you don't, you're going to spend stress to invoke your uh, invoke your aspects. Do you have a focus item of power? No, I don't think you do. I don't think I do. Okay. I don't think I have anything. Well, I'll roll, and if not, I'll just... That's not a six. That's okay. That means you only need to invoke one of your aspects and spend one fate point. <sighs> Which one am I invoking? Um, probably in this situation, I don't think I would use the kill is not something I was made to do because, like, this thing to me is not human. <laughs> yeah. So, so probably, probably yeah, probably that one. Okay. Considering that's magic that I'm trying to do. Okay, sweet. Um, in that case, so you're going to, uh, so you're you're putting an aspect on this that it is slowed. So. Mm hmm. Now. It has that aspect on it. Uh, you or one of your buddies can in, can tag that aspect to use it for free, uh, and then for each time after that to to use that aspect against them, you have to spend a fate point. Okay. But you get one you can tag it for free. But you may want to give that tag to Jane because she's the one gonna go in there and she only has one fate point. Period. So all the rookies out of them. Sure. Jane, you get a chance to go before uh, Ugly Tentacle Oddish goes. <laughs> Yay! Um, uh, does, the, does the circle still give off the, like, don't touch, uh, go near this vibe, or is it just... No, it's been broken. Wibbly wobbly, okay. Oh, Wibbly. 
I'll give my, I don't think I want to touch that thing. <laughs> it does seem like a bad idea. I'll grant you that. So what, what can you do, Jane? I could take out the summoner. Okay. If you wanna... Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to like burst in through the door. Um, actually, is it a, is this, what kind of wall is this that's enclosing the office? Um, I mean, is it like a cubicle kind of wall, or is it like a mortar? No, it, it's neither. It's like um, it's a cheap wall, but it's better than a cubicle. So could a gorilla punch it? Probably. I would say uh, on, a, on a result of uh, like, the better, you can, you can punch away from that wall. What, what am I even capable of here? Uh, Good question. Not that. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll just like burst in through the door of the the place. Uh, so yeah, I was like, go around the corner and like, just shoulder my way in through the door into the office. One of the, one of the things that you can do as a gorilla is, um, is increase your might. Like, your might is mainly fair plus two, but with your modular abilities, increasing your might could have been one of the things that you, you did with your power. Okay. How much did that increase my my buy? Um, probably two. Two. Okay. Uh, all right then. Um, because it'd be more badass, I will try and like punch through the wall and pull it down <laughs> <laughs> and uh, charge in that way. So I don't like stand in front of Rook and his gun. <laughs> Jane. Weird. Jane doesn't my, like having guns pointed at her. My pea shooter isn't going to do much to a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> they, it doesn't feel. Do you have like a. Sh well, oh, yeah, you, that's another gun. I was going <laughs> to say, don't you have like a shotgun that I get? That I borrowed, lent you, whatever. Yeah, I think I brought it with me. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Here. That is not what I'm firing on currently. <laughs> yeah, with uh, with attack that depends on muscular force or plus two damage. Increasing the stress built by one or by two on a successful hit. I think that that would apply here for you. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna like Kool Aid my man through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to roll to Kool Aid your people? And I do great. So, so you roll. Uh, just roll your might and then add plus two to it, or or you could just roll it. How'd I do? Um, this wasn't kind of sharp. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say you can do it. It takes you longer than you expected it to, though. So you're not actually, you're like, you're like, oh, hook smash. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you like, uh, like, uh, you have that moment where, like, you've got, like, just your face through the wall, and you can see Kelly and the grocer, uh, Grosser. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you shining. Okay. Uh, All right. Need to take, uh, basically, you can't actually get in this round. It's going to be the next time that you actually make it through, unless you want to spend your save point to, to hulk out for a second. No. There was something glowing or something on the desk, right, that I couldn't find? 
because my superpower wore off. Uh, yes. I'm going to try and find that thing. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's going to take you... Are you going to just stare through this hole that you made? Or are you going to just find it? Uh, like on on my next turn, that's that's going to be my goal. I, I there's was, like just a gorilla face, just looking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you kids doing? <laughs> What's up? You got this, Kelly. All right, cool. I could I should have just used the door, but this is cooler. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it is cooler. That's true. Um, so yeah, uh, you kind of. So yeah, uh, and that brings us to the bad, the bad dude. Uh, it's a wibbly. It's a little slow, but it's gonna make its way over here. Um, it's oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine if it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, they can't actually attack you guys this round because it's slowed down. But like, like. It's pushed its way into your guys' zone here. Ugh. Oh no. And it was like this gross and flowing with its tentacles across the floor. Like with shards of ice like up in it that like, made it even more inhuman and gross. I am not pleased. <laughs> Should have hopped on the centaur back, man. She could have gotten out of here. <laughs> I was about to say, you're just gonna leave. Your Kelly brother. can fend for himself. <laughs> I wouldn't leave Kelly. Okay, so, um, okay, uh, would you like to do a thing? Uh, oh boy. Oh, goodness. Oh, <laughs> Uh, did I bring that shotgun with me? I don't remember. I feel like I did. I feel like you did. I wouldn't have gone through all the trouble of borrowing it. If, uh... Okay, I'm going to switch out to the shotgun and make my way to... Is that door uh, near to the right of Kelly accessible? The at the purple office square. I don't know if that's like competing it or something. Or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this door is directly into the office. Oh, it's in the office. Yeah. Okay. In that case... Uh... I'm gonna pop the shotgun out and make my way to the uh, the street uh, street door. Okay. Oh, and can I shoot while running? Do I need to worry about that? Um, no, you should be able to. You should be fine. You can All right. Move and shoot. Running gun. And I will roll another uh, gun for that. Yep. Or... Ooh. Nice. Damn. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck you. That's Is it like, a, like one of those cool action sequences when he just dives out the door and yeah. just... Yeah, there are doves everywhere. And... <laughs> I don't know where the doves came from, I'm liking it. I, I'm going to roll my resources and, and I've got them with me. <laughs> For my action dive. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay, so I need to roll its defense against your, uh, against your guns. So that's gonna yeah, good luck. Good luck with the. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure my superb seven is better. I'm scared. If I roll all pluses, it is possible, but not likely. I know. <laughs> oh, you rolled? I, I was like, oh, I'm waiting for you to hit. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> well. Yeah. Perfect. 
All right. And uh, if I could move towards that door a little bit. And you also get a bonus to the damage because it is a shotgun. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you can see, like, one of its tentacles. Whoa. Sorry. One of its tentacles, like, blows apart and, like, dissipates into a wisp of smoke. Um, <laughs> hope you are next. Uh, okay, so where am I in Where's Rook? I'm trying to figure out where the layout is. Like, I think Rook is now where my H is, and my H is where Rook is, probably. Okay. On the map, I think, right? Because you're going near the door, and I was near Jane. So let me yeah. see. Let's see, let's, let's see. If, is it possible for me to, like, attract its attention so that it doesn't go after Jane and run out the door in Maybe. one go? Uh, <laughs> you can try to attract its attention and start running for the door, but you can't, you can't be sure mm. she's gonna do that and not follow you, so. Um. Yeah. Well, Rook shot at it, so I'm pretty sure it will go after Rook first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I can distract it for a little while. I'm just trying to figure out what is the best, because I can do magic anymore. Well, mm, or I could just shoot it. But it's really, really close. <laughs> well, I... Can I yeah. move towards the... I'm going to just follow Rook's lead and go yeah. towards the door <laughs> and just shoot. Okay. So you're over by the door and you're gonna shoot at it. Yeah. <laughs> her leg! Her leg! <laughs> Fixed it, guys. Half of my body is just near <laughs> Jane. Like an H yet. Don't you need your leg? <laughs> your gun? I don't know. Chores are totally susceptible to guns. <laughs> she may not be used to using guns, or she thought it would, she would drop it and then run. <laughs> <laughs> So I just roll guns, right? Yeah. Okay. No pluses, no nothing. You could cast one more spell, but it would put you on the verge of collapse, and you would not be able to take any mental stress without passing out. So just I'm going to hold off on that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that for if there's a bigger emergency. Like save my own life or somebody else's. Um, so no bonus. I just roll, right? Uh, you can tag the aspect of slow to give yourself a plus two bonus. Or I could give that to Rook, who has even better, right? Potentially, yeah. I'm trying to think like who can do more damage. He has a shotgun. I have a pistol. I have a shotgun and a five in guns. Well, I'm gonna, like, I think I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> I'll just shoot it. <laughs> okay, all right, you shoot it. Meh. 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 Is it two and two? Mm hmm. Oh, but I got one. Perfect. You still do, uh, you know, you get plus two to that because it's a pistol, so that's still three. Um, but it's still three, because the difference between uh, one and two is one, plus two is three. So mm -hmm. you still do a small amount of damage to it. Um, it's not, uh, completely, uh, it's definitely not out of the picture, but you can tell that the lead going into it is, um, is definitely It's jumping. Yeah. at it, so that's good. And Rook, uh, I, I've been taking into account that you were, um, On your first shot, your bullet was blessed, but on your second one, you were using the shotgun, so this was not a blessed bullet. But you right, did not a massive right. damage anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay. Uh, Jane, you you got 
a hole in this wall where you can have, or, you know, finish, you can finish busting in the wall and get into the office. Um, Kelly, yes. can, can I, they're, they're slugging it out, right? Kelly does. Kelly, yeah, he's got a gun. Uh, but I'm not going to be focusing it on this guy because I think he was, like, like, beating him with, like, a baseball bat or a crowbar or a piece of Brutal. paper that he found on the... Yeah, it's... it's well, that office is small, and I really don't want to get in the way. Can I um, turn into, like, a lizard and get up on top of the desk to, like, shuffle around to look for whatever was glowing under the papers earlier? Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you can... Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, cool. I'll just ask: Does transforming cost you uh, points at all, or is that just a free thing you can do? Nope. It is. Her refresh is only one, but that's why she can shape shift like willy nilly. Okay. It's, she's a wizard <laughs> pony. She can shape shift. That's all I got. <laughs> and the world's worst identity thief. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you wanted to be, uh, if you wanted to take on the identity of somebody's dog, maybe. Um, no, I didn't even uh, think about that. Yeah. Um, I would say probably will burglary in this case to find something valuable on this table. Gotcha. Come on, thing, where did, I don't know what happened to my character state. Where'd it go? Oh, there you go. I can't tell you. <laughs> Helps if I'm clicking on the right tab. <laughs> Sometimes. I am so good at things. Just not combat. Uh, three. Uh, so you find a... Uh, you find something. It's shiny and it's got like gem inset in it. Uh, this, is, this is definitely valuable if it's not what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, is, there, is there anything else that looks like it might be mildly effective? Uh, on a three, that's, that's pretty much all you find. Um, okay. But it's uh, a good time to take a quick break because we are